Chris Jansen walking down the hall right now. So we'll, we'll see how this works. We're trying out new mics and mm-hmm. stuff right now, too. There's only one guy I felt comfortable doing this with. He was our first guest in our last studio. There he is. Chris hey. Jansen, everybody. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, Welcome, my friend. Have a seat Thank right you. there in our new white chairs. How you doing, bud? Yeah, what a beautiful studio. Thank you. you don't have a, you're not mic'd yet. Put that mic on your shirt right there. We're live on the air, by the way. That's awesome. Hello yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody out there. There we go. The well, they can't hear you yet. You got to get oh. mic'd up. There. Hello, everybody in the listening world. There you go. <laughs> We're going to see how this works all together. Hey, this is a nice studio, man. Thank you. Yeah, I like it. How you feeling? I'm feeling really good. Just yeah. got off the road and... Uh, Man, it's been awesome. The tour is going great, and we're in and out of a, the middle of a tour with Chris Young, and we're also headlining our own stuff. And I, it's it's pretty crazy. The last two nights have been really um, life changing, and and by that I mean that the crowds have grown so immensely with uh, the new song "Good Vibes" that it's 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 it's, it's turned, my career's kind of turned a corner now, and it's it's interesting. It's like we got over that three hit hump, and and working on number four is it's it's incredibly humbling. Is that the hump? The three hit hump? That's what I call That's it. That's the kind of hump I want to be on. Well, you know, everybody says, like, it, like when you're coming up as an artist and stuff, they're like, man, you just get, you know, you get one hit and then you get two hits. But if you can get three hits, man, you're really kind of on your way. And it, and it is true. It's uh, the three hit hump is, is <laughs> it's, so, it's so it's so defining, but it really is. And um, it's it's been a great couple of days. I would hate to follow you. Thank you. Because I watch your show. I would hate to. You're, you have such energy on stage. And I've actually followed you before, and I told my people, never again. Oh, gosh. I said, ne- Eddie, we followed Chris once. We've done it. And we were like, never again, because the crowd's exhausted by the time you're off the stage. Well, thank you. Yeah, I, yeah so, you know, people always ask me, they're like, so, you know, funny questions, do you work out? I'm like, no. Uh, but I do CrossFit every night on stage, pretty much. I mean, you know, it's, it's 75 minutes of a full blown, full time workout. Man, when I get off stage, I'm, I'm like, I'm exhausted. I mean, I really am exhausted. You're Mick Jagger skinny. Thank you. Like you get up and you go so hard and you're on the road a lot too. Yeah. Yeah, we were I've been on the road for 4 days. We we have been on the road for the last 4 days straight. And I mean like you know, you know how the road is. I mean, no matter how you're traveling, it's such a blessing to have the work and I'm I'm so thankful for it, but you know, people forget that on our side of the fence, it's it's also a job. So there's a voice to maintain, a body to maintain, other bodies to maintain, and you have to keep those those things, you know, in, in proportion and stay healthy and, and while you're doing it. And every climate is different, every every town is different, every atmosphere is different. Like last night, we played in a in a great town in Nebraska, but it was a it was a dust bowl, you know. So um, when I got off stage, it was like we were wiping dust out of our eyes, and and look at the guitars got a pile of dust on it that I left, you know. It's just. Just rigors of the road. All right, Chris Jansen's here. All right, this is exciting for us because our boy Chris is here. You know, I wonder when you play live, Chris, like what do you start your set list with? Uh, I started, well, you know what? First of all, let me say I never... Hold on a second. You're, for some reason, your mic's not on. Hold on. Oh. We're learning as we're going here. It's okay. How about now? Nope. Stand by. Raymondo's now running the board. This is his first time. Are we, okay, there you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Chris. You don't follow a set list? Yeah, yeah, you know, it's a really, all of them are true stories. That one in particular is the way that I grew up, and I think it's just a good intro to people. It, it introduces you 100% to who I am, what I'm about, and it sets the narrative, and the great thing about it is, well, to be fair, I've played that song a bunch. Yes, it goes here. So trust me, this is the only place that it's been that it's been advertised. I love that song. Yeah, like a national ad. Yeah. Chris Jansen's here. When do you play Fix a Drink? Oh, early, huh? <laughs> is that your first hit in the in the uh, set list most of the time? Yeah, I think so. 
generally most of the time it is, and um, then to follow students good vibe, which is which has been fun because I've been watching it grow and having stuff in the twenties on the cards and stuff. You know, it's like people know it. They go from kind of mimicking the words just because they're happy to be there to three quarters of the audience singing it. They're like, it's singing, you know. It's, it's, it's and then when do you play "Buy Me a Boat"? I play "Buy Me a Boat" generally at the end, but sometimes I switch it out. Um, like last night, I closed with it um, four times ago. Yeah, four times ago. So it's kind of the past run that we're running for. I close out with "Crush the Ass." I think Ross Tom did some cool catch there earlier. I played "Buy Me a Boat" before. So it just it's that's crazy. Band. You have so many cool songs that you can play. Thank Even you. like truck. Do you play truck? Yeah. That's my favorite song to play acoustic. Since that beatbox thing, I could go on that one. And that was. They play it too. <laughs> everybody, everybody plays it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody check out Good Vibes. That's Chris's latest single. Chris Jansen is here. There's, yeah. a, there's a, a record coming in studio here. What is this? Yeah, this is. Uh, thank you, Chris. Um, so I don't want to continue because it's all too cool. I think it's going to be. But I wanted to give you this uh, today. But I had to make up last week. And, um, and it, it means so much to me. And I couldn't go to my room. I know you don't take compliments, right? In fact, I do like to just give you the compliments. <laughs> That's true. But I will tell you, I'm the same guy. But I will tell you that it means so much to my family to buy me a boat because, I mean, I was, like, people know this by now, but I was getting diapers for my kids. I was getting a ribbon on my throat. And, like, we didn't take that very much. And um, it's a double platinum, double, double, just means two million. And it's almost three million, by the way. It's all the way down to the one time. It's the double platinum for you, by the way. Oh, come on, man. Thank you very Look at this. Wow. wow. Double platinum. Look at this. Oh, man. Thanks. What if I played this in a record player? Would it just spit out money? <laughs> <laughs> wow, look at this. That's cool. We got cameras in there, too. We can we can show that up. Oh, but congratulations to you, man. That's...
Oh, we didn't do crap. We just found a good song. Oh, thanks, man. I will awkwardly say thank you, and you're welcome, and all the, the things. Uh, Good Vibes is a single. Uh, download it, stream it. Uh, he also put out Waiting on Five. It came out in June, and you got new music coming out in the fall, right? Album drop in the fall? Yeah, the album's coming out in the fall, and um, it's looking like it's probably going to be in October, at least. Don't hold me to the fire on that, but it's going to be in the fall. And I'm, I'm so excited about the album. I think it's going to be Was Elton John? Oh. <laughs> Listen. Honestly, I was Elton, and it's going to be a really great record. I really feel like I'm so proud of it. I wrote the whole thing, the whole thing, and I'm having a great time with it. Well, listen, we've we've played some music. We've had a good, a good time. We'll wait till October when that record comes out, and then we'll, uh, we'll see you then. Thank you. All right, there he is, Chris Jansen, everybody. We'll come back here on the Bobby Bone Show. Thank you. Bobby Bone Show.